if you're sick of hearing about sword and shield sword and shield alt arts this that let's just dive into what the next thing's going to be once this sword and shield hype is done although it's probably not going to never be like fully done but when these prices get to such a point people are going to be looking for the next play and you guys want to stay one step ahead let's just jump into it okay scarlet and violet is the next step up okay scarlet and violet these booster boxes if you want to compare this to sword and shield scarlet and violet base set is so much better than sword and shield base set okay just i'm telling you guys right now that we're gonna look at singles and boxes right but let's just start with the box real quick we're at like 95 bucks you can see 94 right here um on these booster boxes under 100 okay just know when the time comes i'm gonna reference this video i'll say i, I i'll say i told you so okay i'm telling you this any any of these bo boxes under 100 especially if you can get them in the 90 and 80 range they're gonna be they're gonna be great holds long term okay and now let's take a look at the gardevoir and there's just a few things i want to mention about this card okay um so you can look and i like to use price charting sometimes because you can use uh you can see the different um graded prices on here as well as the raw um and they show um you have links to ebay um sales so but this is psa 10 so anyways psa 10 around 70 bucks 70 yeah around 70 right now and raw's around 20 so um this is could still be a grading play but personally okay so transparency i like to preach transparency um i'm getting i'm picking up these cards um i do have gardevoir in a 10 and raw um the maridon okay why i say that this set is better is the artwork is so good and these pokemon are going to be popular pokemon if they're not popular to us some of the older crowd they're going to be popular to the younger kids later so if you're looking long term um i mean are you kidding these are sirs you can get this this maridon which is great artwork by the way i actually really like this artwork 14 bucks or if you want to just already get it graded um because there's not much profit to sell right now but if you want to buy raw and grade um that's another one as well i have this card i don't have this in a 10 um let's see and then same thing with the crowd on this one's even cheaper but the gap is a little bit more you're looking around 12 bucks ungraded psa 10s around 55 um dollars currently so um yeah that those cards are are the ones that i'm looking at from this set that have um the most potential not that there's not other good cards so um and that's kind of what all of these are going to be and i know a lot of people are not high on obsidian flames i have a few boxes of obsidian flames Okay, my my resources aren't unlimited, so I, I if I could have cases, I would of every all of these sets, I would, right? So you got to pick and choose. But I think that while there's Charizard fatigue, you cannot go wrong with Obsidian Flames. Okay, 103 a box. Um, I still it's still a pickup. I I think it's a no brainer for long term for long term holds. Obviously, um, this might be one of the slower sets to rise, but um it long term it's gonna do well uh let's take a look at some of the singles here um obviously so you guys can see we'll just go over this briefly i'm gonna tell you some of the ones that i'm more interested in from this set which starting off with this card so this currently is a grading play in my opinion right so these sirs the textured cards they tend to not have the print lines and stuff so they tend to grade really well um so you can get this for like 47 50 bucks flip it for 220 right now like so as much as people are saying that they don't like this card and whatever that's a grading play guys it's right it's right here you can see it it's i mean and obviously the psa 10 price has dropped but so has the raw it's kind of come with it but that there's room on that it cost if you remember it cost 19 dollars to grade a card so you do the math on that one. I think that's a no-brainer. Um, I wanted to talk about this card. I don't think anyone's really talking about the uh, Sizor. I call it Sizor. I don't know if it's Scizor. I call it Sizor. Anyways, um, this is a grading play as well. Um, but this will be a little more tough of a grade. Because um, a lot of these cards are... Uh, they have print lines and stuff and scratches and whatnot. But 4 bucks a card. And I like the artwork on this card. So uh, Evolution of a Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, I really like I really like Sizor. So um i still think that this is a this is a buy either way buy and hold for raw um graded um if there's a reprint of obsidian flames you never know if the print quality is going to be better so um use your discretion if you're going to buy at this uh 86 price range right here 
86 90 dollars um look like somebody paid 100 um if you're gonna buy that just know that if if a reprint does happen um the print quality could be better and then this this 10 population is going to go up it'll be easier to grade so um but picking up raw copies like four bucks that seems like a kind of a no-brainer um long term for me next up is paradox rift um kind of a similar situation um i do like some of the art in this but i don't like the some of the like the alternate versions of some of the pokemon as much personally um but same thing look guys we're still under 100 shipping included like you can find these cheaper other places probably as well um long-term hold paradox rift no brainer even if it gets a reprint you're still at a good price right um now these are some cards that i don't think people are talking about as well this is the steelix um same thing as the size or like evolution of a gen 1 pokemon right let's take a look at the pricing here you're getting this, you can get this raw for like 15 bucks. It's going for like 70 in a 10, uh, maybe a little bit more around that 70 mark. One went for 80, it looks like right here. Um, but cool artwork, love the card. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking some of these up. <laughs> I, I really like this card. Um, I think there's some room here on this card as well. Um, I don't know how much, but I just wanted to give Steelix some love. Um, next up is this, I picked this Garchomp card because I think that this card has some room as well. Um, and I think that long-term, this artwork is great, and this card will perform well. So I'm trying to just I'm trying to talk about some cards that not everyone's talking about, so hopefully you guys appreciate that. Um, but yeah, you're looking at, like, low 20s, and then we're in the 80s right now for uh, 80s to 90s for PSA 10 pricing. So it could be a grading play. I'm not as much margin there, but once again, if you just want to... Um, buy raw, grade whatever tens, and then just keep the excess um, for long term. I, I think we'll see some upside on Garchomp in the future. It's going to be the same thing. When when Scarlet and Violet becomes the next thing, and um, Sword and Shield is, you know, kind of ran its course for the most part, the, the boom that's happening with these cards is going to happen with Scarlet and Violet. So um, then obviously this is the kind of the no-brainer. This is like the easy one. Um, but maybe some of the cards I'm going to pick aren't the easy cards. But obviously you can see, um, most likely we're going to get another reprint of Paldea. Um, still, so you got to remember that this is the first uh, era that has, the MSRP is actually 163, I think. Um, so, um, yeah, if we, get, if we get a reprint, how much is this price going to drop? So, also, you got to keep in mind too, if you're picking up boxes... 117 120 range um is that really gonna matter when they're selling above msrp are you really gonna you see what i'm saying so sometimes hack like going over a few bucks um because there is a world where this doesn't get a reprint okay so keep that in mind uh, most likely it will though but um if, if this doesn't and it just continues to run you guys are going to wish that you had gotten in gotten some boxes but um everyone knows the magikarp let's talk singles um, we're not going to talk about the magikarp right now but uh actually no we are going to talk about the magikarp just for a second if that if a reprint happens and the print quality is better then that magikarp psa 10 is going to drop by a lot so um because that's why it's really low pop anyways the artwork's great but low pop so just keep that in mind um so this is like a this is another one Kind of like this, the base set that I'm talking about. These, uh, these SIRs of the uh, starter evolutions. Um, right now, so ten bucks. You can get this card ungraded for ten bucks. You can get it in PSA ten for around forty. Um, looks like between forty and fifty. It depends, but let's just say forty is the average. If you're gonna spend twenty bucks to grade a card and ten bucks to buy it, you're at thirty bucks. You might as well buy some tens at forty. And the reason that I'm picking some of these cards is I just, uh, on Netflix, the latest um, new Pokemon anime, uh, it's called Horizons, the second part just came out, and the starters are very prominent, obviously, and I think that these kids growing up are going to really like these Pokemon, and if you haven't seen it, go watch it, and um, you'll know that why this next card, Masquerada, um, in the show, it's the it's Sprigatito. Um, but it's the same thing, right? Like we all like, like our original starters, but the final evolutions are always cool. And these are their first, uh, cards their SIRs. They're super cheap, like under 10 bucks for this SIR. And like, if you want to just get it in 10 at 50 now, like 
I don't think you can go wrong there. It just seems like a no brainer. Like, so these starters are like kind of where I'm at personally. And then you have like, so Fue Coco, he's super cute in the show. Um, this one's a little harder to grade cause it doesn't have the texture and stuff. So still kind of the same thing as some of the other ones, but 10 bucks a pop. I don't think you can go wrong. 90 bucks. Um, uh, currently, I mean, I don't know about that for me, like for the Fue Cocos, I'd be trying to, uh, just get raw, um, personally raw to hold. Um, if I get a pristine copy, I'll grade it. Um, but raw to hold, I think there's room there. Um, same thing on the Sprigatito. So the Sprigatito is, um, the main, uh, the main character's starter. So Sprigatito, um, is very prominent in the show. And same thing with why there's this price discrepancy here that you guys can see. Um, I don't know what this sale was 520, but, um, 10 bucks. Like actually I'm going to, let's just check that. All right. So this is like a LP. I mean, I, okay. So yeah, some are up around the 20 ish, but if you can get this for like 10 bucks, that's a no brainer guys. Um, same thing. So main character, um, from the show, I, I see that as a, as a no brainer play. Um, yeah, I, I personally might avoid the tens, um, currently, but, um, once again, that just depends on the reprint and everything, like what's going to happen there, but it, go ungraded is, is what I would do. And then you have the Quaquaval, final evolution of Quaxley. Um, some people are dunking on this Pokemon a little bit. He's like always flipping his hair and whatever, but, um, five bucks. Are you guys kidding me? So this is a, this could be a grading play for sure. Um, I did just grade one of these. Uh, in one of my most recent uh, PSA submissions. But if you can pick up these SIRs for five bucks of a starter final evolution, like eventually, guys, this is going to catch up. Like the writing's here, I'm telling you right now. Okay, even buy the PSA 10s at 40. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong. Like, five. I'm just saying. And like, look at some of these. Like some some people are getting these a little under. The one sold for a dollar, a dollar 29, a dollar 40. Like, just letting you guys know, these are uh, these are my plays. This is where I'm at. Um, I kind of across this whole board. That's kind of what I'm looking at. But um, yeah, I just got some comments about uh, too much sword and shield. Uh, excuse me, sword and shield stuff. So I just kind of wanted to touch on some scarlet and violet. Like it's gonna be, it's coming around the bend, guys. So just give it some time. Okay, we're gonna be then scarlet and violet is gonna be popping eventually. You know, I don't know how soon. I'm not saying that, but. Um, if you're in it for long term, I, I gave you some both long term and short term plays in here. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, if if you're not if you're this far in the video, and you're not already subscribed. Obviously, you like the video. Go down and subscribe. Hit the like button while you're there. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about these cards. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.